First off, welcome everyone to Cyberman Sunday. I am JTB, and you are now watching the Cyberman FC Creative Club Career Mode Series. If you did not watch the last episode, which obviously came out last Sunday, you'll probably want to go ahead and watch that. A lot of things happen, a lot of things change. And in today's episode, let's just say Karamoko Dembele. He's going to be a world-class player in the near future. But first, we've got to start off with some transfers. We are I am selling Nikolai Magnuson. He'll be joining Swedish side IK Sirius for 560000 Just with a new style we're playing, don't play with a true, true number 9, so no need to keep him around. I've also sold Isaac Njoku to Wuhan FC over in... China. I really only promoted him from Youth Academy to get sold, so he has done his purpose. And we're starting off today's episode where we are hosting Crawley Town in the Kicktown Arena at in the FA Cup second round. Should be a good game. And this is the team we're going with. Obviously, we have Cox and Goal. Fortune and Stevens are the center backs. Walner, Sinhania are the outside backs. Montgomery defensive mid, Lancaster, Hurst, center mids. Deli Bashir is the center forward, and Dembele and Clark are on the wings. Here are the highlights. Time for cool heads. Lancaster. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And players waiting in the center. A struggle to get it away properly. Oh my God! Can they extend their lead? And he slots it home with confidence. And he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Horton. Clark. And the emphasis is on creativity. Could reduce the deficit. And breaking at pace with Menace. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter-attack, not so. Now can they make something happen? A really sumptuous ball, well, now in a dangerous position. Magnificent stop! Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. He made it look simple, really. Oh, good vision. And he might be in here. Is it going to be? Can they extend their lead? So you know this scoreline that's quite impressive scoring four goals in the game just you watch he will get better he will get better and we already have another chance to as we're hosting asc wimbledon in the league the lineup is the same exact as it was for the last game here are the highlights this to make it one nil well the keeper is happy the ball was there and how can he take them on and beat them Time to beat your opponent. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Now the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. Yes, yeah, it's a goal for Newport County. Chance to finish. Had his own ideas. Well, they won't come closer than that. But they are creating chances and surely a goal is coming. Must take the lead here, and they have. Well, nothing comes of it. Marsh. Well, he's given it away. What can they do from here? Tremendous ball played through. This to give them the advantage. A goal! Oh, that's a penalty. The referee didn't hesitate. And are they going to be able to hang on to their lead? 
Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Chance to equalise here. And a goal! So obviously for the neutral, that was such a good game. 3-3 draw. I mean, it was all over the place, very offensive, mildly minded. Back and forth, back and forth. Would have liked to have gotten a win, but uh, we'll sell for a 3-3 draw against Wimbledon, who are one of the better teams in the division. You're now going to be traveling to Princeton Park to face off against Tramier Rovers. The lineup is yet again the same. Tramier are one of the better teams, so we're not I'm not doing any rotating when we're facing some of the best teams in the division. Here are the highlights. This looks promising. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Delightful pass. Oh! They look as though they want to make this move count, but nothing comes of it. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Can he play it in? Real chance. Can he get one back? Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Now they've lost it. He made it look simple, really. And he's through here. And it's in! I believe changing circumstances in one of the other games. Alex Scott will tell us more. Yet another goal for Carlisle. It's now 3-1 with 84 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Clearance wasn't decisive. Oh, what's he gone and done? And so into the final five minutes. Are getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. And crossed in there. So we turned it on late, which I guess is good, you know, obviously those two late goals from Deli Bashiru and Clark, but really would have liked to have had that intensity and that production earlier in the game, but we saved a point, so that's all we can, that's all I'm grateful for. We have another transfer, as I sold Jordan Stevenson's to Top King LJ8 for 120000 He was never going to make a name for himself at this club. We are now in the second round of the Papa John's Trophy, trophy as we are hosting Gillingham in the Kip Town Arena. Again, can't make any changes, cup games. Here's the same lineup, and here are the highlights. Oliver, a wonderful intervention. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Very effective challenge put in. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on oh, this fellow. Oh, goal here, Derek. There it is! Reeves. Dempsey. Superbly read and executed. Nice ball over the top to chase. And a goal! Well read to put an end to that attack. Niall McGinn. Oh, great vision. Oh, that is a... So it was honestly a pretty boring game that really should have been quite entertaining. I mean, after the 38th minute, no goals were scored. Definitely should have been goal scored by both teams, but we made it out with a win and we were advancing in the cup. We are now hosting Northampton Town at the Kicktown Arena. And there is a little bit of a lineup change. Barry is in at that left wing position. Other than that, everything's the same. Here are the highlights. Playing it in. Taking care of business defensively here. Running with the ball confidently. That's excellent defending following the cross. That's what you call defense. And there it is. Well read to win possession back. On the offensive. Good looking cross. But goalkeeper's ball. 
disappointingly for them. As you can see, the visitors have had much less of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good... Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. And a goal! Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. The cross is on. Speculative ball fired. To... Now he must favour the cross. Oh, great attacking play. Chance maybe. And a goal it is. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Now, the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing. Let's go to Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Barrow. It's now 1-0 with 53 minutes played. Alex, thank you very much. This looks more than decent, and he's through here. And a good his run. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other matches. Alex has the news. Yeah, another goal for Forest Green Rovers. They're ahead by two now. Well, they get themselves level here. He's got to score. Touched onto the woodwork. There's a slide draw pass. And the ball is loose. And there it is. Cleared away comprehensively. And they could face difficulties here. And he's made headway. Can he find the net? And a goal! He's we were able to get a 5-3 win. Uh, not exactly the greatest game for our defense, but going forward, we were very, very clinical, very good, and honestly, I don't mind whether we win a game 1-0 or 5-3, a win's a win. And we are now, for the first time in a while, I think now, we're traveling. I mean, we've traveled away to Tramir, but other than that, we've been at home pretty much the rest of this episode. We're now traveling to Vail Park, obviously, to face Fort Vail. And the lineup is the same exact as last time, except... Buxley it, Buckley is in at center mid for Lancaster and Green is giving Kiramoko Dembele a little bit of a rest. Here are the highlights. And teammates to play it to. Now I'm hearing that something has happened in one of the other venues. A goal there. Alex Scott with the news. It's a goal for Harrogate Town. They've got the opener here with six minutes played. Absolutely no messing around here. What a start, Derek. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. He's in behind. Can they stop it going in? High level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, there it is. The visitors have completely dominated the game in the last 15 minutes. And with it, have created some great openings. Will he finish? Oh. Watching that back. It's now 1-0. Thanks as always, Alex. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Oh, lovely ball. A goal! Dangerous looking attack. Oh, a goal! And that wasn't part of Taylor. Wonderful tackle. On and on he goes. A goal! And it so it is so nice to know that even if we aren't starting our best two wingers, we can still get production from those other players. Obviously, Barry Green both had goals. And obviously, Della Bashiro had two. So it's nice that, to know that even though we're rotating the squad, we can still beat some of the better teams. And we did technically score five goals, but uh, unfortunately... Stevens was in the wrong net. And we have a 
weird chance. I don't. The schedule makers must have messed up or FIFA glitched. I don't think you should be playing a team in the league that you just played two weeks ago, but that is the case. We're now traveling to the PTS Academy Stadium to face off against Northampton. Uh, trying out a little bit something different. Um, Lancaster and Buxley are the center mids. Back line and goalkeeper are the same, but Green and Barry still on the wings. But I'm starting Karamoko Dembele at that center forward position. I figured, let's why not? Why not just try a little bit something different out? Here are the highlights. Could it be? Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Thumps clear. Can they convert? Oh, it's a ball. Not the best clearance. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, something has happened at one of the other venues. Let's get the up-to-date news from Alex. Yeah, it was a penalty for Leighton Orient. And a chance to level it. Oh, a goal! The incisive pass. Chance to put them in front. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Sound piece of goalkeeping. He's in here. Superb stop. Opportunity. And there is the... Pressing high to win the ball. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. And Barry... That pass easy on the eye. Must be! And he's made it! The half is underway. Keeper Stewart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Real chance. And he's up. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. And that pass could be troublesome. Over to Alex Scott. It's another goal for Rochdale. They're ahead by two now with 84 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. He's very adept at protecting the ball. It might be. in possession well, that's a well-timed pass wonderful chance there it is remember the beginning of the episode when I told you that Dembele's four goals wasn't even going to be his best of the episode yeah six goals I not you have to be a little bit cautious with that it, the game final was eight to five okay it was the 13 goal game but still 
six goals from Karamoko Dembele. He was absolutely on fire. Buxley has been in pretty good form recently as well, so... I mean, I think it's the tactical flexibility in the squad that is really allowing us to really take over, because I mean, we're just trying something new out, and we end up scoring six goals with our one player. In the final game of today's episode, we are hosting Tramer Rovers at a Kicktown Arena. And I'm staying with the Dembele at center forward. The only difference is Stewart starting at right back, and Hurst is in at that other center mid position. White has been reintroduced into the squad because Montgomery is out for Stevens. Here are the highlights. Beautifully weighted ball, but ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in. Plays it back. An early goal. And after he had attempted to play advantage. We saw the situation developing. This looks threatening. And a goal! There he is! Watson. Jay Spearing. And on the ball, Watson. Well, that is how to run at defenders. But nothing comes of it. Now that's a well-timed pass. And a goal! Dakaris Cogley. Jay Spearing. Feeney. Oh, he's given it away. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And he's found a bit of daylight. And that's the hat trick. Now sending it in. And a goal! Well, an easy one to cut out, really. And this situation could be dangerous. Can he put it away? Back. Oh, no. I mean, I think Dembele is just going to be our center forward going forward, so maybe. I don't know. It is, you know, we have, I think we have to wait until he's a bad game, you know, where something doesn't work out well to see how we really feel about keeping him there. Obviously, we still have Dele Bashiru. He can move back into the midfield, obviously, if Dembele takes over the center forward spot, or he could end up beating him out for the spot. Either way, it's nice to know that at this point in the season, we're still not 100% sure on, our tap on who we want to be playing where, and each time I make a change, it seems to work very well. So yeah, sitting at the table, we are now currently in second place, only three points behind first place Newport County. Um, we are only one po two points away from having to go through the playoffs, but the season's still young, but things can change. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, obviously please hit that subscribe button, and Obviously, the next episode will be coming out next su Sunday, next Saturday and Sunday. So, I hope you guys have all enjoyed. And it, um, I am JTP, and I will see you guys later.